Hello everyone. Uh, for those of you that don't already know me, my name is Joe Blakey. I am a lecturer in human geography here at the University of Manchester. Now I'm also program director on the MSc in environmental uh, governance and that's what I'm going to talk to you around in this uh, short presentation. Um, so geography at Manchester is a fantastic uh, place to study. Uh, we're one of the top 10 universities uh, in the UK according to the Guardian. Uh, research in the department is recognized as internationally uh, excellent and our lecturers here are world-class uh, researchers in their specialist uh, areas. Um, so we think that geography at Manchester is a brilliant uh, place to study. Now at postgraduate level uh, we have five programs on offer uh, and these include the MSc in Environmental Governance which is what we're going to talk about uh, today, the MSc in Environmental Monitoring, Modeling and Reconstruction, the MSc in Data Science, the MSc in Geographical Information Science and the MSc Research Methods with Human Geography and you can find out more about uh, these programs uh, from the Geography at Manchester webpage which is linked in the bottom right hand corner uh, of the screen but of course as I said I'm going to focus on environmental governance uh, in this talk. Now why do I think this is something important to study? Well it's increasingly clear that the human world is dependent on the environment around it, the so-called non-human world. The environment provides us with food, water, fuels, uh, resources, many other things, and equally we're custodians of this environment too. And I think we're all aware that our actions affect the environment. Thinking about climate change in particular, 2020 is already on course to be the hottest year since records began. Uh, global warming, um, is nudging us closer to 1.2 degrees, we're just short of that, against pre-industrial levels. Uh, at the same time, we know that if we, we, we reach 1.5 degrees of warming, that is roughly the threshold at which we enter very dangerous levels of warming. Um, if we don't do anything, we're on course for a warming of about 2 to 3 degrees, with a whole host of catastrophic impacts uh, for lots of people across the globe. There's a whole host of other uh, environmental issues at play as well. Um, these include plastic pollution. Plastic has been found everywhere from the North Pole to Antarctica to the bottom of the Marianas Trench. And this is building up in marine life, life and birds, um, causing them to die. And it's also entering uh, the food chain and it's in our water too. So lots of em environmental uh, issues uh, at play at the moment. And action on both of these fronts and other environmental challenges really requires urgent action. We really need people who are able to tackle these issues head on, steering us in the right direction. And that is the broad remit of environmental governance. And this is what we explore in this master's program. So within the MSc in environmental governance, we want to develop your skills um, so that you're able to apply sophisticated, critical and interdisciplinary environmental and sustainability theories across numerous different scales and in numerous different places. And it is an ideal course for those of you interested in pursuing a career in environmental regulation or urban sustainable management. It's also a great option if you want to go on and pursue a PhD. And we can train you and guide you to that end. Uh, in general, it's an excellent course for any kind of environmental prof professional who wishes to deepen uh, their environmental knowledge. So you'll address many, many important issues of our time. This includes, as we've already discussed, climate change and plastic pollution, but other things too. Lots of our researchers in the Society and Environment Research Group work on things such as water and energy poverty. Uh, environmental and climate justice, overfishing, organic food, uh, certifications such as the fair trade certification, deforestation, uh, struggles over oil and gas, um, and processes such as desertification. 
So lots of lots of other topics. This isn't just a climate change uh, MSC. So we know that there's that need for action, um, and you know how do we how do we create action? How do we bring about change? That is the broad question of governance. We've got to bring together the right ideas and the right people. And so in this masters, there is uh, a real, real focus on the different actors involved uh, to realize change. So we'll be thinking about institutions such as the uh, United Nations uh, and the Department for Environment, Food and Rural Af Affairs, but equally, um, all of this will be underpinned by a really rigorous theoretical understanding uh, with leading researchers working on things such as governance, uh, fields such as political ecology, and working across a host, a whole host uh, of environmental uh, problems that we've already uh, alluded to. So what does the programme uh, look like? Well, you can broadly split it into three parts. In the first semester, you will do two core units and two optional units. The same is true of the second semester. And then over the summer period, uh, you will go out and you will do um, your dissertation. This might be based on some desk-based research, or this could be uh, doing some uh, research in the field. So the core units uh, that you will take uh, include key debates in environmental governance, uh, issues in environmental policy, doing environmental research, and political uh, ecologies. And these will be uh, hosted by leading researchers uh, in the Society and Environment uh, Research Group. Um, your optional units, you have a lot of choice. You're able to choose any course at a postgraduate level from the whole Faculty of Humanities here at the University of Manchester. There's some examples of courses that current students have taken on the right hand side, um, but it is by no means limited to this. So this is kind of a build your own master's uh, program broadly within the remit of environmental governance. And we think that's a good thing because you can focus on your own interests, uh, continue studying topics that you uh, are already interested in and really build a, a case for yourself as a really unique uh, candidate for a job or a really unique researcher. So we think that's excellent. Uh, what do our students do? Well, you'll be equipped to work for a whole host of organisations like the Environment Agency, the United Nations Environment Programme, the Soil Association, the Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs, amongst many others. Uh, our students have also been really successful in uh, obtaining funded PhD places and gaining employment with private consultancies and international uh, NGOs. Uh, there's some example of sectors that our students have gone on to work in, uh, on, in, in this PowerPoint, uh, and also some examples of where our recent graduates have gone on to work at. The other thing to know is that our excellent uh, career service will help you for two years after graduation. So once you finish here, you're not left uh, to fend on your own. What are the requirements for joining the course? Uh, well, we ask that you've attained a, a, a minimum of a 2-1 uh, at undergraduate uh, level. So that's, that's what we ask of you. Um, if you are a current University of Manchester undergraduate, then I've got some good news for you, and that's that you don't need to go through the full application process. It's really simple. If you're interested in this, all you need to do is drop an email to seed.admissions at manchester.ac.uk with the name of the course you want to join. So in this case, environmental governance, your full name and your student ID number. And they will make sure that you're able to join in September, so long as you, you meet uh, the requirements uh, on the other slide. If you are not a current University of Manchester undergraduate, then I'd encourage you um, to head on to Google to search for Environmental Governance MSc University of Manchester and you will find the online uh, admissions uh, page and the online application form. So you'll have to complete this application form, 
provide two references, a copy of your degree certificate, a copy of your academic transcript uh, for any qualifications in progress, a personal statement outlining why you want to join the course and the benefits you hope to get from it, and finally, your CV. So still a relatively simple uh, process. Uh, tuition fees, uh, I should mention you can take this course as a full-time student, so you complete it in one year, or you can take it uh, as a part-time student. And the fees uh, reflect this too. So as a full-time student, your fees for, for the year would be £9,500 if you're a UK or EU citizen. Uh, if you are an international student, it would be £19,000 for the year. If you are a part-time student, it will be half of this per year, uh, but the same amount in total over the course of the whole uh, degree. There is also uh, a bunch of funding available uh, to help you. Um, there is a whole web page set up to help you with this. I've included a short link at the top of the slide, bit.ly forward slash UOM funding. That should take you straight to that page. In short, there is the SEED scholarship that is 50% reduction in tuition fees and is a competitive uh, award. There is the Manchester Alumni Scholarship, so that is a £3,000 reduction in uh, fees for self-financing students uh, taking courses within SEED who have obtained a first-class degree from the University of Manchester. There is the Manchester Master's Bursary uh, it's, there are 75 bursaries available, each worth £4,000, available to UK or EU students from widening participation uh, backgrounds. Um, there is also the postgraduate loan, uh, which you can uh, apply for separately. Again, more details on that uh, link at the top of the slide. Um, it's been a pleasure uh, to speak with you. I really hope that I will see you uh, in September. If you want to find out any more about the University of Manchester, geography at Manchester, environmental governance, or any other of our MSc programmes, then please head to manchester.ac.uk forward slash geography. Um, however, if you've got any questions about the environmental governance programme, then please do drop me a line on joe.blakey at Manchester ac.uk and I'll be happy uh, to get back to you. Thank you very much.